Larry, who's that? That's a Mormon. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in the auditorium. The event is about uh -oh. to begin. Tom, there we go. Okay. You are amazing. I mean, I think the whole country was inspired by you, and your book is fantastic. Thank you. Oh my God, look at that, it's pouring. Thank you for coming. You're incredible, you. truly, thank you. I'll get you to sign my audio book. Terrific. just a simple Mormon misunderstanding. And again, I really want to apologize. Well, thank you, Larry. I do appreciate your apology. You know, the Mormons are a great people. I hear wonderful things about them. I'd like to do something for them. I'd like to make a donation. Nobody's ever seen a donation like this. A large donation like that could make a difference in so many lives. I'm also wondering if it's possible you could do me a little favor. A favor? Yeah, I would love to have you vote to get rid of the five-foot fence law. It would be great to have a repeal, a big, beautiful repeal. You know, a lot of people have been talking about that law, telling me what a disgrace it is. Some very bad people were involved. Some very bad hombres. Really? I, I had no idea. What about Councilmember Yovanovitch? I heard she's voting against it. Yovanovitch, she's no angel. She's going to go through some things, believe me. Oh, my. Uh, and what about head council member Weinblatt? There's a lot of talk about Weinblatt's son. His father got him a job at that construction company. You know what they make? No. Fences! Fences, really? Yeah, fences. It's a disgrace, and people are saying it needs to get looked into. I didn't know any of this was going on behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. That's why your vote is so important to me. Well, I mean, I did initially feel this way anyway. Yeah, the donation that I was telling you about, we can transfer that tonight. So do we have a deal? You can count on me. That's fantastic news. This is great. Thank you, Larry. I'm so glad you called. Me too. OK. Bye. Are you using the upstairs bathroom? Yeah, the one downstairs is occupied. <laughs> you know, the master bathroom, it's, it's like the bathroom at the officers club. It's kind of off limits. I'm an officer. Mm. Not in this house. I heard the call, Larry. What? I'm concerned by the call. It was a perfect call. That call was far from perfect. No, no, it was perfect. Perfect call. What you did on that call was completely improper. Improper? Let me ask you a question. Where'd you get those shoes? Uh, my uncle uh, was in World War II. He gave them to me. I'm sure you could do better than that, Larry. OK, my father gave them to me. What are you going to do? I'm going to transcribe that call, and I'm sending it to the head of the Santa Monica City Council. Why, why, why would you do that? It's the right thing to do to report it. It's my duty. Your duty, your duty, come on. Enough with your duty. It's too much duty. You're off duty. You steal shoes from the Holocaust Museum. It was raining. You rope off chairs. It's my chair. And you bribe councilwomen. Yeah. And I'm sure head councilman Weinblatt will be very interested in hearing about all this. What? Vindman! Vindman, what are you, what are you doing, Vindman? No, don't do it. Come on, Vindman. Come on, give me a break. You don't understand what's at stake here. Whatever I did, it wasn't half as bad as you using the upstairs master bathroom. That's the real crime. It was a perfect call, a perfect call.